Lava from Hawaii's Kilauea volcano is once again pouring into the ocean. The cascade into Kapahoha Bay is releasing toxic steam mixed with tiny particles of glass. And the number of homes destroyed by the eruption is dramatically higher this morning. Carter Evans is in Pahoa, Hawaii, with more on this story. Carter, good morning. Good morning. That's Kilauea's most active fissure behind me. That lava fountain is lighting up the night sky for miles around, and the lava field is growing as well. It now covers about eight square miles. That's the equivalent to 3,800 football fields. This is the eruption that's been blasting lava up to 260 feet in the air for more than a week. The total number of homes destroyed is now believed to be 159, up from 87 on Friday. This is the second time lava has hit the ocean since the crisis began. This is where the lava meets the ocean. It's cool now, so it's hard enough to walk on, but you can still see some steam rising there. And the problem with this flow is that it crossed a major highway. The communities of Kapoho and Vacation Land are now completely surrounded by lava after escape routes were overrun this weekend. Authorities don't have a firm count on the number of people who've chosen to stay behind, but they believe it's more than a dozen. First responders are now doing flyovers to watch the lava and look for anyone who now might want to leave. And so we're looking, you know, for people if, if they're... Uh... If they want to come out, they'll probably wave us down. Everything from this point that way is completely new. Jeffrey Wise lives in a voluntary evacuation zone. He decided to leave because there was only one remaining escape route. It has cracks uh, with steam coming out of it. And so I haven't been staying at my house in the case that it would be compromised and I wouldn't be able to get out. Meanwhile, hundreds of earthquakes continue to shake Kilauea's summit, including a magnitude 5.5 on Sunday that sent ash some 8,000 feet into the air, covering popular tourist areas and leaving huge cracks in nearby roads. We're now more than a month into this eruption. The destruction and the uncertainty has left these evacuees exhausted. There is the possibility that this could last for months or even longer, and that has many people thinking about where they might live for the long term. John? Carter, thanks so much. I still, those are still just amazing pictures.